Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In the previous video, we have completed view bill part of cafe management system project. If you are not seeing that video, just go to description and check out the link. In this video, we are going to work on manage user part. And this one is our last video on cafe management system project, Spring Boot, Angular and MySQL database. So let us start with them. Let me open the VS Code. And here we have to close all these pages and we have to go to the services and we have to go to the user service and over here we have to create few methods so you get users and here we have to return this dot http client dot get this dot url plus slash user slash put semicolon just scroll a little bit up and after that we have to call date method so update data any and here we have to write return this dot http client dot post and this dot url plus and here we have to write slash user slash update comma and we have to pass the whatever the data we have related to this one and then we have to write headers and new http headers and here we have to write dot set and content type and here we have to write application application slash json so it will uh, see service metrics has been created now we have to generate a component so just go to the material component right click on this folder open integrator terminal right ng generate manage user this winter it will generate a component for this and here if you can see the component has been created now we have to go to the material routing over here and in this we have to just copy paste this line of the code over put comma and paste it over here and here we have to write user and here we have to write view user okay sorry we have created a manage manage user component so we need to import Okay. One second, we have created a component manage user. So, manage user component we need to import, and this will be only accessible by user. So, just remove that user part. Sorry, uh, this will be only accessible by admin. So, we have to just remove the user part. Now, we have to add this in the menu item. So, I'm going to uh, menu item in shared folder, copy paste this line of the code for here. And here we have to change this to user A okay, and my C. And here we have to write manage user. And icon we need to display people. And this will be only accessible by admin. So just write admin, save this, delete this one also. So that you can see if there's an error or not. If I go over here, if I click on manage, you can see we are able to route it over here. Let me log out and let me log in as a, a normal user. So let me copy paste this one credentials, login, and paste it over here. One, two, three. Try to log in. Okay, wait for admin approval. Okay, just uh, let's go with this one. And paste it over here. Click on login. You can see we are able to log in. And here we are only able to see few pages. Uh, few buttons over here manage order and view bills if i try to access the user page it will give us error you can see you are not authorized person to so let me log out and let me log in as admin right now so admin email and one two three four five let me log in okay so this will be the password so let me copy paste this one and admin and here to log in so now we have to go to the manage user okay 
and here we have to write the code so this plate plate columns and here we have to write a string adding and here we have to write name email contact number and status and put same column and data source and response message any now we have to import few over here so ngx services ngx ui loader services this one and after that we need to import user services so private private user service and user service this one and after the snack bar private snack bar service snack bar service after that inside the ng on it we need to start the loader so start and after that here we also need to call it table method so now we did not create any method with this name so it will give us yes let's create a method over here just press enter small we are getting error if i save this one error will be get removed and inside this one we are going to call a api which returns the, all the users which having uh, all users uh, which exist in our database okay so user services dot get users dot subscribe and we have a right response any and this dot ngx services dot stop this dot data this dot data source is equals to new mat table data source and whatever the response we get we are going to pass it over here and after that if we get any error in that case we also need to display so i need to write here this dot ngx services dot stop and we are going to print that print that error in console and if error dot error question mark dot message exists in that case this dot response message is equals to we are going to pass this one instead over here else we are going to pass the generic class so response message dot global cons global global constant this one dot generic error this was services to display our message so this dot response message comma global constant global constant dot you know, this one and save this so if i go to the ui now over here and if i go to the inspect if i go to the net tab and if i refresh this one it will call it let's see that and here you can see the details of all the users it does not return the admin user it will return only all the users okay let's get back over here and now we have to write the code to apply the filter on the particular table so apply filter and here we have to write event event and inside this we have to write const filter value and event dot target as html input element dot value this dot data source dot filter equals to filter value dot trim dot to lower case and so this after that we have to uh, create a methods whenever uh, like a status get changed for the user we also need to update and for that purpose we have to write him uh, create a method over here and to write it. so status and any and id any 
this dot ngx services dot start where data is equals to status string what about video and then we have to call this the service date API we need to call and in this data and we have to subscribe any start services start stop message any okay so we are going to space services start and we start switch and right success. If any error occur that we need to space and write the code and just part of the code from here. So new method or like one is change the status method has been completed. Now we will write for CSS over here. Put write and put add comment adding twenty x and after that table also present and save this. After that, we have to go to the HTML part of this page, and from here we write mat. Card, hold, and span. We have to write manage users, and then we have to sign and after mat. We have to need a mat page filter. And Headings standard inside this we have tried match label and then the band window set input match third so I window and here we have to write event and hash input we have to write like this. Save this. Then here we have to write extra. Here we have to write responsive. So let's go table. And here tables and install it with. And table, and here we write mat table and data source goes to data source class at mission mission dash jdit put data, and here we write ng container. And here we have write mat column diff and here we have write name and name and here we have write th mat header cell start mat header cell definition and here we have write name after that td mat cell start mat cell function this one and let element and here we have write element dot name and we have to copy paste this line of the code here and we just need to reach this to email 
and here we also need to change to email and it should also change to email email and save this after email the next for contact number so contact number number and here we also need to write contact number here we also need to write contact number put a space over here if it is capital and after contact number the last for actions or change the status so i'm just going to copy paste the same line of the code over here and status and here we're going to change to status and here we're going to change right action and here we are going to write class action link and this part and here we have implement a mat slider slide toggle toggle and over here we have to write change and whenever it get changed so we have to call this method so i just copy this name of this method and paste it over here on change we have to write the uh, pass event dot checked or element dot id we have these two things and mat tool we have to display so activate activate wait or deactivate user we need to pass these two things and here we have to write check check and here we write element dot status and after that you save this let me format this one okay now you can see over here now uh, we have to write inside of outside of this ng container we have to write pr mat header raw start mat header raw and here we have to write state column and sticky true true and after that tr mat raw mat raw and let raw column and here we have to pass the displayed columns this one same column and close this let me format this document and now here you can see if you go to, over the here you can see we are able to see all those two users over here if i try to filter this it's working fine let me remove this clear this a tab and if i try to enable this user if i click on this you can see update api is done and if i go to this payload you can see uh, we are passing the status true and id we are passing three and here you also seen that it uh, shown a message that uh, it have updated successfully user status updated successfully it means that it's working fine as expected if i um, go to the database and if i try to check the status of you can see these two users status has been updated so let's change it again so again we are calling the api and we are waiting for response as it's also triggered the mail that's why it's taking a little bit more time and if i go over here you can see status is checked with the front. It means that it's working fine as expected. So, so this is all about cafe management system project. We have completed each and every part step by step. I hope you guys like this video. Please hit like and subscribe my channel for more videos like this. So 